The concept of joint controllership refers to the situation where two or more controllers jointly determine the purposes and means of reprocessing. The French regulator de CNIL addressed this concept in the context of a group of companies in two landmark decisions issued in April 2017 and December 2018, both pre-GDPR. The question was whether the US parent was acting as a joint controller along its EU subsidiary or whether the US parent was a new processor. This question determined if the US entity could face liability under the EU regime and be exposed to a fine. In both cases, the CNIL set aside the internal data processing agreements and rather looked at concrete factors. What are those factors that led the CNIL to conclude that the US parent was a joint controller because it was taking a crucial role in determining the purposes and means of the processing? First, the service was developed by the US entity which had the technical expertise to run it. Second, the service was basically the same in the US and in the EU. The fact that adjustments were made to meet EU law uh, requirements was deemed irrelevant. Third, key documentation regarding the data processing, including privacy policy, was drafted by the US entity. Fourth, the US entity was in charge of the training of new employees in the data privacy area and was also in charge of concluding contracts with external service providers for tools essential for the service. Fifth, and this is specific to data breach situations, the breach had been managed all the way through by the US entity, including at the time of disclosing its existence to the public. Further guidelines should be expected. The CNIL admitted in its 2018 annual report that the borders between the notions of controller, joint controller, processor, and mere service providers are key notions calling for further clarification.